well we've got another problem okay and let's see how do we solve this so you are told to find out the HCF and LCM of 630 and 250 right now there was a property which we discussed in the previous video maybe not the previous video in one of the videos for HCF and LCM so the property said that the product of two number let's say this is X this is Y the property said that the product of two numbers let's say X cross Y is equal to the product of their HCF XY and LCM now what we know is we know these two numbers but we need to find out their HCFs and LCM so let's say first we find out the HCM by the division method pretty simple you divide the bigger number which is 630 by the smaller one into 2 gives you 500 this will give you 130 right since the remainder is there 130 is used to divide the divisor 250 1 130 120 again we divide the divisor previous divisor by this number into 1 120 we've got 10 again we divide 120 by 10 right 1 times 10 2 here 0 or rather do it by 10 only so you get 100 actually by 12 sorry so you get 120 only let me just rub this off into 12 gives you 120 remainder 0 so the HCF is actually 10 now comes the work and which is what simple very simple so you've got two numbers x into y what are the x into y 630 into 250 is equal to HCF I have already computed the HCF out here which is 10 into LCM the other way could have been I would have found out the LCM of both these two numbers that could have been time consuming so I rather put the values in this formula or the LCM is equal to 630 into 250 which is these two numbers divided by 10 10 knocks this off here if you do the multiplication 75 7 carry 25 into 3 is 75 so I have taken 5 here 7 carry 25 into 6 is 150 plus 7 157 so the LCM of these two numbers is 15750 and this I was able to find out because I knew this property right